Ikea Soul. Still here in the shop for no audio. We've gone to the stereo, pulled it out, and put that on the bench. All power to the stereo. The stereo and everything is working here. This is an eight-speaker system with a tweeter in the center of the dash at the front and a subwoofer enclosure here at the back. Uh, we're going to show you how to remove the amplifier on this vehicle. And what we've done is remove the insides here, the uh, cover along with the plastic insert to get access to the inside of the panel here. And what we have along the back of the panel is uh, three screws. One screw is here. These are plastic screws. Uh, these are plastic screws. Sometimes you have to hold this base down where my thumb is presently located in order to spin the, re the uh, screw. Otherwise the whole assembly will spin in the opening. But we have one of these here. We have one here in the center along the back. And then one here as well. And what this is going to do, is removing those three screws, is going to allow you to remove this panel up and take this panel out of the way. Uh, we moved ahead earlier, so we're going to show you what was next. There was uh, screws right here at the edge of this panel. One along the front here, and one all the way up at the front along this side panel. Uh, up at the top here, we had one of the uh, cargo net uh, secure bolts, and we unscrewed that one. And that is going to allow you to pry along the edge of the panel and pull the panel back and the clips will all release along the edges. This is going to give you access to your uh, subwoofer along with your amplifier located down here on the side uh, along the rear of the vehicle. There are three screws, one 10 millimeter here at the bottom and one at the top and one at the opposite side. Uh, two connectors uh, and the amplifier will pull right out of the vehicle. Uh, again, these connectors uh, all have triggers on them. You have to squeeze the trigger down in the center of them. This allow releases the lock and allows it to go back in. These connectors are keyed in different sizes, so they only fit one spot. This is how you remove the amplifier from a 2010 Kia Soul. Hope this video has been helpful, and thank you for watching. See our other videos at carstereohelp.com along with our repair rates.